Here's a trusty old Fender guitar. Now all guitars are like this. Almost all the problems that they have come from the input jack. All right, where you plug your guitar in. Now let me show you what the problem is and how you might have to fix it. Okay, here's that little hex nut. A lot of times this will come a little bit loose and people will grab a little pair of pliers or a hex wrench and they'll twist it and tighten it down. Not a problem, except for once I show you what's on the inside, you'll see that when you spin this thing around, the wires break. All you gotta see is there's a couple of little Phillips head screws holding this little jack in place. All guitars are about the same, a little bit different. Sometimes you come in from the bottom or the side as a bigger faceplate, but let's get inside. Let's take a look in here. There they are, the two little leads, the black one and the white one, and that's it. Now you can see when you turn your hex nut, if this thing starts spinning around, these wires get tangled, shortened, and bam, you get a little breakage, right? So if they do break, take out your solder, your soldering iron, and attach them. Usually only one's going to come off so they know which the uh, other one goes to. And it's that simple. It's a very, very simple repair that you can make to fix your guitar when it shorts out. So there you have it. Just a very simple repair. Screw it back in. Don't be afraid to get inside your guitar. Take a look and uh, see some of these simple repairs that you can keep your guitar up and running in perfect order.